Good morning, my friends. Father Wynn here on this cold and blustery January 20th, 2021 inauguration day. I'm out here in this memorial to our service members through many wars. And I'm also here to remember those who have died in this terrible epidemic as we continue to fight that virus and come to a conclusion. But any inauguration day is a new day. And so as the sun rises on our city, we pray for the city, we pray for the country, we pray for all of those who are seeking to get the vaccine out. We pray for safety and we pray for our brothers and sisters who are angry and we pray that we might truly bring all together as one. Today, as I said, is Wednesday, January 20th and let's begin with a moment of quiet prayer. Today is also the feast day of uh, St. Fabian. Uh, in 236, Fabian found himself in Rome, a layman, visiting from elsewhere in Italy. An assembly of clergy had gathered to elect a successor to the deceased Pope. As one might expect, especially in Italy, the open-air assembly drew a throng of curious seekers, Fabian among them. As he stood with the crowd, a dove flew over them and alighted on Fabian. The clergy declared this a sign that God uh, had elected Fabian as their pope. After he had recovered from his shock and the several subsequent liturgical rituals of baptism and, uh, and ordination, Fabian served ably and faithfully. He organized the city of Rome and the church within it, impressive accomplishments in their own right. But even more so in a time when the persecution of Christians was particularly acute, he was a great leader. Indeed, Fabian himself was eventually martyred in a campaign of hostilities against the faithful. That was from Sam Botero's book, Brightest and Best. Let's take a moment of silence and breathing. Remembering this day, remembering all who are participating in it, remembering our country and breathing them all out into the breath of God. And releasing all that we carry on our breath. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Continuing on page 82. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. The psalm reading is Psalm 126, 
found on page 782. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are glad indeed. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the watercourses of the Negev. Those who sowed with tears will reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carrying the seed, will come again with joy, shouldering their sheaves. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The reading is from Matthew chapter 10, verses 24 to 30. A disciple is not above the teacher, nor a slave above the master. It is enough for the disciple to be like the teacher, and the slave like the master. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebul, how much more will they malign those of his household? So have no fear of them, for nothing is covered up that will not be uncovered, and nothing secret that will not become known. What I say to you in the dark, tell in the light, and what you hear whispered, proclaim from the housetops. Do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet not one of them will fall to the ground, unperceived by your father. And even the hairs of your head are counted. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. The canticle is Canticle 11, found on page 87. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. For behold, darkness covers the land, deep gloom enshrouds the peoples. But over you the Lord will rise, and his glory will appear upon you. Nations will stream to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawning. Your gates will always be open. By day or night, they will never be shut. They will call you the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Violence will no more be heard in your land, ruin or destruction within your borders. You will call your walls salvation and all your portals praise. The sun will no more be your light by day, by night. You will not need the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting light, and your God will be your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Collect of the day for St. Fabian. Almighty God, that in all times of trial and persecution, we might remain steadfast in faith and endurance according to the example of your servant Fabian who was faithful even unto death we ask this for the sake of him who laid down his life for us all Jesus Christ our Savior who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit one God now and forever amen for our country Almighty God, who has given this good land for our heritage, 
we humbly beseech thee that we may always prove ourselves a people mindful of thy favor and glad to do thy will. Bless our land with honorable industry, sound learning, and pure manners. Save us from violence, discord, and confusion, from pride and arrogance, and from every evil way. Defend our liberties and fashion into one united people the multitudes brought hither out of many kindreds and tongues, and do with the spirit of wisdom those to whom in thy name we entrust the authority of government, especially President Biden and Vice President-elect Harris, that there may be justice and peace at home, and that through obedience to thy law we may show forth thy praise among the nations of the earth. In the time of prosperity fill our hearts with thankfulness, and in the day of trouble suffer not our trust in thee to fail all which we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A prayer for the morning. This is another day, O Lord. I know not what it will bring forth, but make me ready, Lord, for whatever it may be. If I am to stand up, help me to stand bravely. If I am to sit still, help me to sit quietly. If I am to lie low, help me to do it patiently. And if I am to do nothing, let me do it gallantly. Make these words more than words, and give me the spirit of Jesus. Amen. Today in our prayers, we pray for the repose of the soul of Susan Young, beloved cousin of Barb Schaefer. And we pray for the repose of the soul of Vicar Reynolds. And we pray for all those facing illness, surgery, injury, or adversity, especially Eileen, Ethelene, Tony, Joe, Mason Beers, John Camp, Catherine Blackwood, Michael Copeland, Sue Cromlin, Cliff and Terry Creek, Mary Earhart, Liz Etheridge, Barbara Ewell, Christina Good, Mike Hickey, Steve Jones, Ralph Catherman, Jim Kletke, Georgia Kennison, Mary McCune, Charles Minoche, James Malloy, Dennis Provost, Phyllis Sayers, Mark Sayers, Julia Scruggs, John Tanner, Priscilla Trinderodi, Ronald and Angela Waterman, Rachel Welch, we pray for Andy Weymouth and the people in his office, Karen and Chris White. And we also pray for Alex Waterhouse and Laura and their daughters over in England as they face COVID. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Jesus Christ forever and ever. Amen. Well, the sun has risen. It is a new day. And so God bless you all.